The droid you are looking for, Canada, presents the video game ball. It's 1990, and you're a kid at this time. Well, at this time I was, what, eight, nine years old? And this game came out in the arcades called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Arcade Game? But wait, it's not just a regular card arcade game. It has up to four people that can play at the same time. Tell me that is not awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't, because that is fucking awesome. You can't even do that nowadays. You have to do everything on fucking line. You can't hang out in the room with your friends and bitch slap your pal because he's not doing anything correctly. That's right. I'm talking about Turtles Arcade Game. Now, there's different variances. You have the one that was in the arcade game, and you also have Turtle 2 that came out on the NES. Pick. It's the same goddamn game. There's, the same, there's changes to the game, but they end up being the same goddamn thing when you play the game. Now, the game, when it came back in 1990... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was in the middle of a partnership with Pizza Hut. If anyone remembers that, if you buy the game, they will actually give you a coupon for a free pizza. How badass is that? Like, I mean, you're making a huge capital off the fact that turtles like eating pizza, thus making kids want to eat pizza, thus giving them a free pizza makes them want to come back to Pizza Hut to eat more pizza. Smart. Very, very, very smart. So the game came back out in 1990, and there was a lot of things that were different, but in this version, there was two new levels put in, which is scene 3 and scene 6, which used the dog, um, what was the name, the, the, the turtle and the dog from the actual movie Turtles 2, and also in an episode, you had a robot named Shogun. Now, but... There was different also things that happened as well. There was, they took out Bebop and Rocksteady in that version too. And then there were so many things they did differently, but it ends up being the same game. They just used different villains as they went along. Still, you can't go wrong though. It's still Turtles. The game mechanics are correct. You had all your friends over. What can go wrong? Well, I can tell you what went wrong. 20 years later, they decided to remaster the game for the Xbox Live and the PlayStation 3. They took out levels. They increased difficulty by a ridiculous amount. I might as well have been playing Dark Souls at this point. And the fun factor wasn't there. Everything that made the game magic was gone. So if you ever want to try this game out and and have fun with your friends about Turtles, like, I mean, the storyline is what it is. It's Turtles beating the shit out of everything, including robot ninjas. Can't go wrong there, right? But if you want to play it, Find an emulator and play the original for the Nintendo or Super Nintendo, or even better, and I know it exists because I've seen it personally, if you can find an actual arcade machine that still has the turtles there, give it a shot. I promise you will enjoy it. And with that, enjoy your chimichanga. Game over, man! Game over! Thanks for listening to the Droids You Are Looking For podcast. Stay tuned for next week's podcast. Remember, the Force will be with you, always.